Hi everybody, it's Janine. Alright, so I'm gonna talk about the past couple of days and really crazy in my house. So basically on Monday, which is two days ago, my oldest daughter she fractured her foot at school. And believe me, that, that it's not fun. I got a couple of phone calls. First the nurse called in the morning, says she heard her foot was hurting and then my daughter's like, oh no, I don't want to come home, I'm fine. I iced it, I feel fine, mommy. And then I get a call like another hour later from the principal saying your daughter was hopping around like a bunny rabbit. And then the nurse called me like two minutes later saying she's back in the office again. And they said, oh, maybe she broke something, she fractured something. I'm like, all right, fine. I go and I take her straight to the urgent care. Because the doctor's office, her pediatrician, they were book solid. I was like, oh my god. So I took her to urgent care. I was there like three hours, I think, all together. Got there just before one. We left at around four. And yeah, she fractured her left foot. She's in a humongous black boot. Now they didn't say she needed a, any crutches or cane. The poor kid's wobbling around. It's very heavy. I felt it. It's very heavy on the foot, especially when your foot hurts. So, basically, oh, I felt so bad for her because when we got home, I said, here, use my cane. She felt leery about the crutches. So, gave her first the cane. It was also the first thing I could find. She used the cane. She's like, all right, I got this. She's, she went to school yesterday. She said it was so heavy on her. Like, she was exhausted. Her arms were tired. She said, well, my, my legs are exhausted. I can't lift this boot up. So, today, I, I gave her crutches. I showed her how to use them. Uh, poor kid. Uh, it's been a nightmare because I've been driving her early. And I've been picking her up a little early. Because she can't get in and out of the school bus. It's been a nightmare, not just for her, but for me. I feel bad because she's in a lot of pain. But they say she can go to school. She has no note to stay home. They said, no, they can go to school. But, like, thank God I have a, I had a cane and I have crutches and she's close to my height. She's only about three inches shorter than me. She's like, what, say here on me, roughly? So, you know, I'm five one. she's Four ten, so you know, adjusting my crutches and cane was not a, that big a deal because it's in that size range. So at least she has those, and she did say the crutches were easier. I didn't pick her up from school yet, but I am grateful that she finally got assigned um, a little bus, and like I guess I had to drive her to the beginning of our complex. But at least I don't have to drive her to school. They'll at least help her get in and out of the bus. Because she, you know, they give them more time. It's easier, it's less time consuming for me to have to get her to and from school. Especially when the school is not that close. Elementary school was closer, but middle school is not that close. But, uh, you know, then I have my other daughter. I have to worry about my little one. I have to get her ready. And it was also taking away from getting her ready. I would come back by, like, 7.30. And I'm like, I have 15 minutes to get the little one ready. Can you imagine getting a 4-year-old ready in the morning for a bus when they got to leave at 7.45? Because her bus comes around 8-ish. I get there early because sometimes the bus comes early. Well... It's been a bit of a nightmare. <laughs> and even like Monday was crazy with her because her bus comes 3.45 in the afternoon. We didn't get out to 4. I had to call my husband. I kept calling. And he had to walk. It took him, he said, almost an hour to get to the bus. I felt so bad. I was like crying and sobbing because he was the only person available. I'm like, oh my God, and it's raining. It he got there, which was, I was like, thank God, because I'll never make it. And I, I had a feeling. I just knew at 2.45, I'm not going to make this. Thank God he answered, and he said, I'll, I'll be there. And he got there, I think, about five minutes before the bus came. It, 
it was a serious miracle on Monday. Now I just, I'm just grateful though that they, she got approved for a bus, my oldest one, a little bus, because <laughs> the, the big bus, the, the, they're rush. Anybody who has children would know that big buses, they're in, they're out, they're in, they're out. You know, they, they don't have time to allow the children to have those few extra minutes if they have canes, crutches, whatever, a big boot on. They don't have the time. The little buses, they have more time. They're not on a big time schedule. Some of them I have seen, they'll allow a couple of different kids if they're roughly on the same route um, on the little buses, but they're not on like a huge schedule and some are just for one child, which is fine because I don't care as long as, you know, the, the timing is very different. Usually she has to be at her bus 715. Uh, this is seven o'clock, which is fine for the next couple of weeks. Uh, she's got to get up a little bit earlier. I'll have to tell her when she gets home. <laughs> She's going to be really upset. And then it's um, 3.25, which is much later. Usually, he, with her bus, it was 2.55 or 2.50. Well, she walked in the door at 2.55, so I want to say 2.50. Uh, probably the way the route is, she's probably, they probably have a couple different kids on the bus. And that's, she's probably first in the morning, last in the afternoon. That's my guess. But, it, like, it's very stressful, and, like, I feel bad. My heart's breaking for her because she is an active child who can't do anything. She hates it that she has to lay down, ice her foot. Walking around has been a nightmare for the kid, and, uh, you know, she loves to go outside. And if she sees the beautiful sun that finally came out today, she's going to cry and not can't because she can't just run around outside. Her foot is killing her, and Saturday is supposed to be the best day of the week. It's supposed to be like in the 70s, and bright and sunny all day. She's just going to be very miserable because she's in this boot for like two or three weeks, seeing what the doctor says, in a couple of weeks. So I'm, I feel bad for her. But, you know, it's, gonna, it, it's a hard adjustment when you watch one of your babies have... A fracture or break it doesn't matter what it is they're in pain and something's not right with their foot and she had broke a toe but it wasn't so bad she had this like little tiny like sandal looking boot and that was fine she walked around and didn't hurt when she had it on and she, she walked around like normal she was able to I wouldn't say run outside but she could do little walks just be outside this big black thing that's like halfway up her calf she can't it's heavy it's not small. It's not like a styrofoam. It, like the other one kind of was. It's not like a memory or memory foam, I think it was. Sorry. This is a hard thing on the outside. Heavy. And then like a cushion on the inside. Which is the only reason she can walk. I, they, you know, it, it's sad. It, it breaks the heart when a parent's got to see their... Basically their kid is miserable. You know, I'm making her take ibuprofen. The liquid stuff for kids. And... She's like, I don't want to take it. I said, you're in pain. I don't want to ice my foot. You're in pain. Just take it. You'll heal faster. Rest your foot. Put it up on the couch. Just lay down. Get to watch some TV, movies, you know, whatever. She's like, I don't want to do that. I want to go outside. I'm like, I'm sorry. I love you so much. You, you, you need to rest. I don't want you to break your foot any further. I don't want to where it's not just the, it's the little, where the little toe is on the left foot. Not the toe, but up the whole foot I think up till they said the almost the ankle is where she fractured it and uh, they didn't say if it was the top or the bottom they just said it was that foot and it was from the toe the end of the like where the toe meets the foot all the way up the foot so the little toe is fine they said no toes are fractured it's just the foot itself but they didn't say top or bottom but she's like that whole area hurts so I don't even know She's like, it hurts the other side. I said, it's probably because of the way you're holding your foot. You know, trying to teach you because I have experience. Her father has experience. We, The foot issues is big with her father and I. So we're trying to teach her. And, you know, just what it all is. And I, I think she's going to get it. She's being a trooper about it. She's being strong about it. Yes, she's complaining. But she is taking the aid. She even takes the aid of the other kids helping her. 
you know, she didn't want to have help, but I'm like, this is what you got to do, honey. You know, if a friend wants to help you, a classmate, let them help you. You know, she, she hates it. She's stubborn like her parents, doesn't want the help. But it's school. It's rough. It's big. She needs extra help. You know, a backpack is heavy. A binder is heavy. So she's allowing it. She likes the attention, but I think there's some pride in there. I'm glad she has that pride, but she broke herself down a little just to to take the aid for now. She said it's fun because I get to talk to somebody while no other kids are in the hallway. She goes beforehand. I mean, and she, I think she understands how fortunate she is that there is also an element. In our school, I grew up no elevators, not in elementary, not in middle school, and we had two level schools. High school, I discovered there was such thing as elevators in schools, and I was like, oh. and I, I'm like, I don't have a foot issue. I had a foot, foot issue elementary, middle school, where I was on crutches, like I, I I sprained ankles or something, and I needed a crutch to help me for a while. Um, even went to I think with a cane once, and I had to walk up the stairs with those things her she's got the elevator I was like you're lucky very lucky Missy and she's like yeah she's like, there's none in, el in elementary school so you're one level you're fine <laughs> she reminded me of that last night and I'm like no you're fine you, you, there was fine it was all yeah one level in elementary the other schools are two levels so yeah that's uh at least that's I'm grateful for that they have a ramp in every school which is a blessing too when you have to be on wheels or you know really can't in the crutch because I cannot imagine seeing those kids going upstairs I have and I fell down the stairs at my elementary school I had one crutch and I fell right down the stairs it was hilarious now thinking of it but yes I fell down hurt my butt <laughs> Like, good, I sprained my ankle, and now my butt hurts. <laughs> Didn't break anything. The idea is I fell down, I think, like, two or three steps trying to get up. Um, My grandfather just laughed at me. I'm like, thank you, Grandpa. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Even though he's not alive, the idea. <laughs> he drove me. But, yeah, so, it's been crazy. I'm just trying to make it so cheerful for myself and for her and you know she struggles with this but I am surprised she's taking to it so well she's complaining but she is taking every aid that's coming her way she's being strong about it and I'm so proud that she's at least taking to it very well she complains but she's fine every kid deserves to complain when their foot hurts or any part of their body but to take the aid that somebody gives them when they need it that's what I told her. Just take it when you need it. Don't let, take advantage of it. You know, you really need someone to carry something for you. Fine. If you don't need it, then don't worry. You know, if, if you're feeling dizzy, get, take the help. You know, tell somebody. Don't be afraid. You know, she's got that pride in her. And uh, that's fine. But also she needs to, you know, be a big girl. And that's what she's doing. She's being a big girl about it. She, But she's you know, being smart. She's 11 years old in the fifth grade, which is middle school for their district. <laughs> and she's doing great. And I'm very proud of her. So, uh, but it's just crazy. And I'm glad at least she has the bus. I don't have to drive her because it's hard. It really is. So I'm, I'm very proud that, you know, she's doing well. There, there's some help. I took the help. I said, yes, take the bus. I, I didn't mind driving her for the two or three weeks, but there's a bus option I think that's better for her because they know how to they'll know how to get her in and out of that bus and it'll give her a little bit more independence and depending on me other than me helping her down our stairs and not killing herself in the complex <laughs> all right everybody bye